Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pulse Check Podcast. Today, we got for you guys one that you guys have been asking for for a very long time. Today, we'll be doing a tier list. Today, we're going to be pretty much going over every team and how we rank them. And I'm going to let you guys know this now. We've watched, boys, in the last month, a total of like maybe hundreds maybe, of think, scrim games. Ooh, hours. Hours. I, I will put money that there is nobody that's watched more Call of Duty scrims than us. Out of anybody, these us four are the ones that have watched the most and so we're gonna give our honest opinion and again for anybody at home anybody watching please don't get offended this is just for people's opinions and it's just purely for content don't get hurt please we love you we love you everybody at home the way we do this is we've hosted scrims almost every single day and what we do is we've kept track of every single analytic from those scrims from average placements to kills and then we put them in a ranking of first to last or whatever pretty much we're giving you guys data as to how everybody's performed on average during our scrims i'm gonna go over this and i'm probably going to only go over the top 10 and specifically pulse check scrims who do you okay. guys think is the number one average individual kills per tournament for people who don't know it's ssd they go by shifty soka and uh diaz uh -huh, uh -huh. they've been winning very consistently so obviously my big brain is calculating right now and uh we've seen how consistent shifty and soka so I'm, I'm gonna go with uh shifty for my pick so what about you crinkles i'm gonna go with shifty now ebay what about you same answer shifty coming in at First, average individual kills is shifty. Woo! I should have doubled down. 40.57. In second place, who do y'all think it is? The drop off is kind of insane. I ain't gonna lie. Me, I'm gonna say Soka. About you, Ebates? Or Ben. I wanna say, like, probably Biffle. I'm gonna go with Dongi. Dongi. All right. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Good choice. Chat, in second place with an average kills of 35.93, which is pretty much five kills less than shifty. Is Mr. Diaz Beef Bowler. Oh! Coming in at third. It's gotta be Soka. I mean, it has to be Soka. <laughs> it has to be Soka. It's a pattern line. I mean, <laughs> they've been top slayers, top like winning it all, man. In third chat is Soka yeah. with 35.71. So barely, barely Diaz 0.23 more kills than Soka in all these tournaments. And then yeah. I'll go to four is Jukies with an average of 33.75. Then Almond at 32.85. Donkey 31.1. Skullface at 30.31. FIFA at 30.14. Scummin at 29.55. Gary at 29 flat. Youngsters 28.62. Lennon 27.29. Juju 27 flat adrian 26.8 and then lastly prospect at 26.77 these are Damn. the top 15 individual slayers out of all the practice tournaments we've had all right let's go team kills this is gonna shock the f out of you maybe maybe not oh team kills total 113 oh, average god damn so it's mean. like 30 30 kill difference bro this average placements chat might shock you maybe more i don't know this is the overall kills right take a good peep at it man soka with 113 oh, in his team alman 87 raxton 80 on rational 78 rated 76.82 limax 72 8 and 71 chat these are all the post check scrims the average kills let's go over to the average placements man that's the average placement every God. single tournament guys for, so for those y'all who don't know seven. the lower the better bro like seeing these stats yeah like on paper is kind of crazy because like you okay like right now obviously we, we expect soka's team to be far ahead of all these teams and then like seeing it on paper is like kind of crazy right okay we know they're ahead but how ahead are they yeah right how ahead and they're, they're ahead in every department i mean usually you have teams where like they are either really good at kills or really good at placing yes map but, placement chat yeah but this team right here bro like if there was a list of just clutch factor bro like like, they'd be on there too, man. I kind of want to highlight because I feel like we know Soka's team and all them are, mm. are like they're S tier, right? They're the top right now. But let's look at Braxton's team, bro. And they're averaging 10th place in every single game that they play, yeah. uh, which is not bad at all. But look at their kills, man. Look at their kills. So average of 10, 80 kills average per tournament. And then same thing with Almond, bro. 87 average team kills per, per event or per tournament. And then the last one. They got 12 points. And then third place. Those top three teams. Heavy, like, heavy, heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the Zepti team, dog. They are so good at getting to endgame. Mm -hmm. 14. They're the number four right yeah, now. Yeah, but they struggle very in, on kills. And let's go to kills real quick. Zepti, they're at the bottom. Look at that. 45. Five. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That is that is actually crazy. So they're so good at getting to endgame, yeah. but they struggle when slaying out. Yeah, uh, that could just be yeah. like small talk. That could be like just pacing issues. Without further ado, let's Dang. get into the tier list. Um, 
Boys, let's let's fucking go. Okay, let's I'm go. Right now. Guys, we grabbed around 60 teams. Top 30 in EU, top 30 in NA, around their chat. Uh, I know Abwis competed last year with FIFA, and they didn't do too hot. And this year, I know they were on the cusp of not calling. So yeah. either going to say question mark or D. We, I haven't seen enough about them in an actual custom. But then again, is it fair to rate them in a custom? I mean, what do you guys think? That I guess is, we'll go. That is true. I know a little bit about Abwiz. I don't know mm -hmm. much about his teammates, though. Okay. Like, I'm not sure. I haven't seen much about their custom play. Mm -hmm. But I, I think they would, for me, I would rank them at D. I know a little bit about Abwiz, but I feel like he hasn't really played this year. I have no idea who Novak or Master are. So I feel like it's... Not fair to really rank them, but I'll probably put them in question mark. But okay. I don't disagree with Krinks. I think D is probably where they're at. Uh, for me, I mean, like the same thing. Uh, they, I haven't really seen them in custom. Yeah. yeah, but just from like even what we saw, we we saw them doing like an open qualifier. But like I said, like I don't know really much about Master or Vag. So so me, let's personally, do this. I will say question, question mark. mark. Yeah, Assault, Lovey, Belt, boys. I think we have enough info on them to rate them. My yes, hundred percent. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'll start first, radar. boys, because I know I'll be the one to be the bad guy off rip. So this team, I think, started off as D tier. They were not doing good. They were placing top 30, top 20 and everything. And recently, they've been kind of cracking into the top 10, 15 through 20th. So mm -hmm. in my opinion, I'm going to be extra harsh because I know they're, they're going to get better. But I think right now where they sit at, they won a game today and they did really, really good. But even then, one tournament is not enough. They still need to drastically improve. I'm going to go C. Uh, I agree with C. But um, uh, we uh, we saw them this last scrim. Uh, they started off hot, but they kind of slowed down. I was trying to keep track of them, kind of keep them as the underhorse. We weren't able to see much of them after their first initial matches. So I would definitely put them at C tier. They still have a lot to improve. Yeah, I was going to say C. I think this is probably the team that's not improved the most, but they're improving the quickest right now out of a lot of other teams because they've had a lot. I mean, this is just a new team. Assault obviously came from Fortnite. So I think C is definitely a solid spot for them right now i mean just like you were saying bro the first time i seen them they started off really really bad you know obviously they just got to get the more reps in i would say they were deter but now at most right now see they show sign of life of going like to be i would say just more reps man more reps all right oh we're getting into the the the, oh, the good God. ones right here man yeah. Um, all right, we got Aiden, DJ Moss, and Smitty. Um, obviously, we have enough data to rank them. Uh, this team has been performing dog consistently bad. And then today came out and was the top team to be at match point. Now, is one tournament enough to give them a high rating or anything like that? I don't know. That's up to, right? All of us can have our own opinions. This team will get better. And we talked about it. Them on paper is very good. They just need to transfer the paper to the actual end game. In my opinion, again, if I'm being hypercritical, I'm going to have to go B. I think like if you were to tell me like two weeks ago, I would put them in C. Yeah. Uh, but like recently they've been improving. They've been getting into the VODs and they've been pushing to get better. So definitely a B for me. I honestly, that team just needs the vocals to stay on all cylinders and it should be good. I think this team, kind of like a soul lovey belt, they've been getting better drastically. I think these guys all have talent, like on paper, to be like an A tier team. But I feel like I was gonna even put them at top of C, bottom of B type of team right now. I feel like they still probably got a lot of work on, and obviously they've had some good tourneys the past couple. But I mean, it's been good. It's been really, really good to see like the improvement on this team. I, lo I love that. Yeah, I mean, for the first time I see them, they they did really good, and then after that, they kind of like fell down and struggled for a little bit. But from today's tournament, bro, they were the first team to reach match point. I would say right now B, if and then if they could just keep polishing. Their, their play style that would be without a doubt a tier team bagel yeah. liam and stukex recently they haven't been playing in our tournaments i would have to put this team at question mark yeah. i know liam has played a little bit from what i've seen they haven't done the greatest in ours but i mean ebates i think would you know a little bit more about them or would you put them at question mark i mean stukex i think got ninth or something last year at world series okay um if i'm not mistaken or he did pretty decent i haven't really seen them as a team play that much together i know liam's been hopping in with like some other teams i think he's played a little bit if it's the same liam i think he's been playing with uh ifa and and Lennon a little bit in these other EU scrims. So I don't think I've seen them enough as a team. If I had to guess, I'd probably put them in C tier right now. But like I said, it's just probably a question mark is probably fair for them right now just because I haven't seen them at all in the uh, customs we've been watching. I wouldn't say I, wouldn't, I know much enough to like rank them. Right. I, I just don't think I could possibly put them. Even if I'm ranking them with NA teams, it will probably be hard for me to do it just because I don't know much about them. For me personally, uh, they haven't been question playing as a, as a team. Yeah, question mark. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, just for the fact that I've seen Liam like play with other teams, but I don't think they've been doing too hot. You know, like for example when we saw blast blast and gabe were playing on other teams they've been performing really well so i would just say question mark baba huff almighty tj and future these guys they i don't think they played a single custom game together they, I, did they, played, they played today and i'm yeah. pretty sure they did i don't think we saw them i don't think i saw them at all so they might have been at the bottom I, I, is it fair to rank them off of one game i would say d tier they have a lot to climb they have a lot to learn 
Uh, I would put them in D tier. I'd say D tiers. I mean, I know a, a bit of like TJ from like Verdansk and I know like how good uh, Bubble can be, but I don't really know about Future. But like you said, like we didn't really see them late game or didn't be like, oh, this team is popping off. So like you said, they're just getting into the roots. Definitely D tier. Uh, Begzy, SV, and Reload. I'll be honest. I don't know who these guys are. Krinks. Um, I know they're from EU. I've okay. seen Begsy's name before, but I don't know the other two. I think okay. I've heard of Reload. Have I they think played he used to in be like a Warzone. He was like a Warzone 2 ranked grinder, but I haven't I haven't heard any of these guys other than that. Have they played in any of our scrims? No. I don't think I, I've I seen them play so, in no. any of our scrims once. A ran Bodzy and Rakes. I feel like I can rank them enough. I know Bodzy's really good as a trio, this one. Question mark or no? Question mark without Question that. mark for me. Really no, I don't, I don't know. Team. He makes, do you know enough to give an opinion? I haven't watched any of them. If I had a guess, I'd put them in C, but I'm down to put them question mark just because we haven't watched them. So we have Raxton, Youngsters, and Juju. I want to establish this right now. We're going to be hypercritical about everybody. And in my opinion, this is a top team. Obviously, we see that the numbers, we've seen how good they are. This team, in my opinion, is a tier. I think they're at the top. They have a little bit more to get better and they'll be S tier right now. I think A tier is where these guys are at. I agree. A tier. After they said they're going to do the role changes, you know, after that, everything has been clicking for them. There is times where they are super inconsistent. There's times where they come into a tournament and they play really good or they play really bad. So like if they're able to polish that, which obviously their end games are very consistent. Once they get their fights going, as Ebates was saying like a week ago, their fights are slowly getting better. So I'm going to rank them in the top A. Yeah, this is a super, super consistent team. And like I've seen them getting better and better because I know like like Kring said, like they're fighting team fighting in general like i noticed i think it was like last week i was like yo their fighting looks way way better a lot of people have asked me like yo whose vod should i watch and i've always i always tell everyone start with braxton because i think they this team does basics but they do the basics really well they don't do too much they don't do too little they've kind of mastered the basics and everyone's on the same page i think they're just very consistent and you'll see that throughout their gameplay right now no doubt probably a top five team obviously like you guys were saying i would say that they were like top eight consistently and on top of that i feel obviously since they were just forming and getting to know each other more they uh uh, improving really really well on their team fights and i feel like today they were being more aggressive which led them to like we we're saying they got a 29 and then they got a 24 so they're picking up the slate power and then they already got the positioning bro so like they're gonna be a threat man so a, I, uh, a, a. bro. now we got chow dotty or Dady and renzo um these guys are actually not bad uh, i saw them in the open qualifiers i know they don't scrim i know chow is like a huge streamer but i think this is one of those teams where they probably will have to fight to qualify to land and so in my opinion i would put these guys I, anywhere in c and d that's kind of where i'm gonna put them crinkles do you know anything about them I don't know much, but I do remember watching them last year. But I I would rank them on C, like mid C maybe. Put this team in, in D tier, D? my opinion. Uh, I would say D tier because like I guess if you're struggling to even make it to finals, bro, like I don't know, there's like a lot of work to be done. Obviously, I know you said he's a big streamer. The, the competitive ceiling is so high. I would just say like I was gonna give him a C, but now I would say D. Now we got destroy Nate Dog and Raul. I love these guys. They're all great humans, but sadly they haven't been performing well. And in my opinion, I could put them on the same level as assault lovey and belk and for me i'm gonna have to go see low end of c because i think they have a big ceiling but they haven't been living anywhere near their potential in my opinion they can get better and they will get better but as of right now this present day we're ranking people on how they are right now and in my opinion that team is c tier right now honestly i would rank them like mid c but i have seen some improvements with them a couple of screens back we did see them get a couple wins uh so they have um, a lot to improve when it comes to end game and all that stuff but i'm sure they'll they'll polish it yeah i'd put this team in C and I think everything you said was pretty accurate but I do this is a team that I, even though they're in C I do see them qualifying for land in my opinion I think they're gonna get a lot better and I think they've already shown that in the beginning they kind of struggled a lot but I would say they've been they've been showing more signs of life at least to me like that been catching my attention I will say whenever uh destroy obviously I'm not too sure who's IG on there but uh you at one point he was telling Raul that they need to work more in their small talk and we know already how destroy can be so vocal so they have the sleep power they right have the sleep power so they just work on the, the pacings they work on the small Small talk now easily put them uh, for me i think they're b tier i don't i don't think there's any questions here chat oh uh oh. diaz shifty and soka i'm gonna say this right now <laughs> uh, just go ahead and put them guys they're s tier and yeah. i'll be honest somebody was in the chat was saying braxton youngsters s tier no i don't give what anybody says there will not be anybody else in s tier out of this entire list they are the best team by miles and no one is close there is one team that has the potential to be closer that could be as good as them but right now, they are not. Diaz, Shifty, Soka, S tier. Nobody's even in the same tier as them. I mean, I agree, bro. Like, everybody's getting spit on. Yeah, no, it's not even close. I even <laughs> had, I had a $100 bounty on that team today, and they still did it done. So, man, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, dude, this team is just so damn disgusting. Any of them like survive, bro? Their their recovery is insane. Any person on that team is capable of one v three. You got your role players. You got your who is the anchor, who's the the IGL. But dude, you got two monsters, Shifty Soka, which could do the IGL, the clutch factor, the anchor. And then now you got even Diaz Biffle, who used to be R two D two, just left aim and shoot. <laughs> now this boy has been R2D2. calming. And then we just saw like a big fucking clutch that he's been doing. The thing is like they're already at the top and they keep accelerating like there is no no roof they're like they just keep getting better and better mm. without a doubt s tier for me now we got ankyo gramalock and heats all right so this team arguably top two in eu right now great squad in my opinion all the roles down they have a young talent ankyo who's in contention right now for rookie of the year you can argue this team or, or maybe even like fifa's team are at the top at the moment in my opinion this team is an a tier team i a tier as well but i would like to see them more like play in a little bit more na crims just to see like where exactly they sit at but i mean majority of the times where they when they do play na they they are hitting like top five top ten majority of the time this is probably the best team in eu in my opinion and i think they definitely deserve to be an a tier um i think nko is probably a top five player in my opinion uh maybe top six but i mean yeah this team's great and i i think a tier is definitely where they belong i was gonna say like i think they're like a a minus just for the fact that i mean yes uh like obviously a lot of people keep gassing them which is obviously we've seen that they could like win but Sometimes they have like really hard starts. And no, you're like right. Really you're bad right. endings. At least for me, I haven't really seen two of the, where them to be like, okay, they're consistently the top 10. You know, we've seen them in the middle of the pack. For me, I feel like they're a bit inconsistent. We know what they can do. But for me, I would say like, they're like a low A, you know? Not you're kind of spitting. You're, you're at spitting. least for me. Like, you're spitting. Uh, no, no, no. You're spitting because we watch them a lot. They might just be the most popular because everybody loves them, right? Yeah. And they're still good. But low key, you're right. They, they have times where they're really good mm -hmm. and times where they're really bad. Yeah. And so I think A minus. Minus is a good I mean we don't have any minus, right? But yeah. A, in my opinion, still, I don't think that would push them enough, but yeah. I think you're right. You 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 cooked right there. Now we got Stuo, Patsuka, and Anxium. Uh, Anxium, in my opinion, this team is good. Yeah. But my opinion, they're not A tier good. They're not Ankyo Gramalak Heeds good. They're good. They're don't get me wrong, but they're not, you know, I would say they're Aiden DJ Smith good. So I'm gonna go B and I would say near the lower end of B, uh, for my opinion. I think I would put them above Aiden and them. Okay. Just cause uh I seen a couple plays that Anxium is will do in customs. Mm -hmm. And I think the, they have a very chance a very good chance to, you know, up their level. Yeah, I think right now they're probably a B tier team, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is like another top team in EU and if they do again really well in land. For me, I would say like they're solid, bro. They're really, really consistent. I would give them like a B tier. They do have those like one, two pop off games, but after that they slow down heavily so okay. i would say b we got bergs ghost and lenzo i don't think we've seen a lot about of them i'm gonna have to say question mark for me yeah question mark i'm down for uh question mark iq erase and desmond these guys man they are really really close friends of mine chat but i'm gonna put them at d tier they technically didn't qual for the world series but then after the fact of them qualifying so in my opinion if you are one of the bottom teams on the cusp uh you should be there, in my opinion, at D. I agree with the D tier. Uh, they still need a lot of things to work on, uh, a lot of reviews when it comes to customs. So yeah, I think this team's probably in D tier. I think we've seen them a few customs, and I don't know. They just they just got a lot to work on. But I'm I'm excited to see the growth of this team and hope they can kind of figure out the what they got to do right. I'll say D tier as well. We know that they can slay. So we got FIFA, Jukies, and Lennon. Ooh, this one's gonna spark some 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 debate. I think with them, they've seen a little bit of inconsistency, in my opinion, when it comes to this squad. I've seen them play really well together but then i've also seen them play complete dog this one it, it is a tricky one man because at the start of the customs right they were going through some stuff and they weren't playing too hot but then they have the capability in my opinion i think right now they're b i will say they're high b they're high b so i kind of agree with what you're saying with the uh, high b i was originally going to put them at low a but they do have those days where they're very inconsistent i think it just comes down to like them being on the same page and not you know, getting on each other's nerves i think i think i'll agree with you and put them at high b i think this team's probably in low a for me i feel like this team especially when world series comes around they're no doubt going to be an a tier team um back then i would say b because like they have that whole altercation which would honestly like the make or break but i think for me after that that i've really seen hella improvement from that team so i would say like a low a cool kong and gabs or gobs i don't know enough about the squad i'm gonna i'm down to do question mark i'm um, down for question mark i don't really know much i'd probably put this team in top of d let's go to fuzzing pentagon and melvin pretty good team man good team i kind of put them at the same kind of i don't want to say caliber i'm gonna say b for me in my opinion kind of lower on b i think they're not as good as like stuwa patsuka and xion um still good good squad but i'm gonna have to put them lower on b my opinion i've had my good share of 
of like playing against these guys and okay. they honestly love sitting in one building uh, uh, majority of the game <laughs> okay so uh, i'm gonna put them at b i think this team like i feel like their name carries them a lot oh might be a diss or whatever i just feel like they're overhyped because of their like who they are as players like their history i think c tier is probably where i put them in my opinion there's one point they got second but after that i haven't really seen them much consistent like i would say maybe out of range of the top 15 i would honestly say c i'll change my answer i'll put it at c exact sit rep and sneely i think they're going to struggle i think we've seen them enough in my opinion i'll put them at d i mean i've seen them grinding a lot we haven't seen too much improvement but i'm hoping that once they fully lock in in the next couple days they, they do better but i agree they are a team as of right now i think they're all passionate but i do think d is probably where i have them right now hopefully we get to see more of them in the quals we've seen some like snipes here and there but other than that not really like what top 20 i would just say yeah d tier we got gabe flanked and blast have they even played a fucking custom together? I, feel like like one or two. I think they only played they one. Do well. Gabe and Blast played with Vaughn and went rogue and won like top three. Yeah. It really good and then they added flanked and then they did horrible but flank top frag honestly bro yeah personality. they haven't PC. played together at all in my opinion i would put d uh, i would put my high d i believe they're better than majority of the ones we have there as long as once they get their team like the roles and going i think they'll jump up for sure i think this team over time could get better but we just haven't seen enough and when we did it wasn't really great so i think d is probably a good spot i would say i would say they're b i haven't really seen much about them bro i am be honest no i seen gabe and blast and other teams do really well like you're saying with Flanked? I don't know, man. I can't categorize them, bro. I'll paper like B. All right, we got Big Groovy, Beno, and Jama. You <laughs> question mark for me. Jama yeah. sounds familiar for I Jama why. and Groovy. Jama Fondo, he played. He played with Vap and Louis last year. They didn't do great on land, but they did decent on the online. B Groovy, I've known for a while. They're good players. I just don't think they're great. I probably put them in B in my opinion, but hey. might need the help of somebody from EU. But I think either question mark or D for me. All right, we got Huskers, Brolic, and Jackal. Okay, this is a great. Let's talk about this. This, man who knew that this team would form and like be good <laughs> really be good. good yeah not me i i didn't think no, like, bro, without a doubt. me too bro this team gets so much hate in my opinion all three underestimated players people are gonna say b c all this shit i'm pretty sure they place top 10 in almost every like every custom they've ever played been consistently at the top they're better than almond's team interesting, right now interesting the last Yo. three tournaments almond and them have played horrible i i would say a my opinion a i'm gonna settle at a okay, what I'm just saying. <laughs> go go yeah. <laughs> Go look at the fucking stats, bro. I don't want to hear it. Y'all let y'all's judgment of names make you guys perceive differently, chat. We look at analytics type shit. I was the first to admit that I was so wrong about this team when they formed. I did not think they would even do well or click. Um, I do think they're probably in the B in my opinion, but I think we only have a small sample size for this team. So I, I, I think I'd put them in B. I would put them on high B. I mean, for me I, on paper, when I read it, same thing, I was like, bro, th this is like a C tier team. Cause I didn't really yeah, know yeah, much, yeah, yeah. but then I would say, bro, after what I've been seeing, I think they're A tier team. All right, Levi, Zeppa, Limax. They have such a high ceiling. We saw like them be so f***ing good. And yeah. like we saw them play so f***ing well. And then after that, it's been kind of crickets. I don't know. I'm going to have to give me a second to think. I'm going to let Krinks kind of or Ebates, whoever wants to take over. If I gut reaction, yeah. I'd say B. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I was thinking I would about say too. I'd B. I feel like they're like another team. like another kind of like another team like Huskers. Like they just came from Australia. Right, right. They came shooting in the very start, you know what I'm saying? But now they're kind of slowing down. But I would probably put them at high B. I think this team is probably in high B as well. You know, these are my boys. I think uh I think Levi is a very smart player, very strong IGL, very good voice, but I think he tweaks a lot. So if he could just kind of calm down in situations and learn how to control chaos, this team could easily be a, an A tier team. Uh, okay. I think right now they're probably a B tier team. Rampage. Yeah, same thing. I would just say they're they're B tier. Uh, we seen that obviously they they have the kills, and I I one of the teams who are really good at end game with the small talk, but from they had like that one monsters game where they won, and then after two they were just like getting caught off rotation. So I think they just gotta work on those rotations and other than that they show sign of life of a but right now i'll say b tier team for sure uh clavston gooey and flizz this is a eu team right clavston yeah have they played in any of our scrims i think it was the eu one milzy um, said c yeah i don't That's know much about probably them. where i was gonna put them my opinion it, probably top of d low c i probably say c. c okay so you said c we got zach hollow eisen another eu team these guys have actually been pretty good i think they've been playing really well i think azen's really good he played with gramalock and uh heeds before they started playing with enkyo you no know, zach and hollow are both very 
strong. In my opinion, I'd probably say C or low B. Probably top of C. Now we got Attract Colors and Rias. Huh, let's talk about this team, man. Let's talk about this team. I think if Rias can kind of focus on, on getting more time in, like honestly, if I was Rias, if I was his team, like let me just play ungodly amounts of the game. Ungodly amounts of the game because we've seen Attract and Colors, they've played together consistently and yeah. no matter who their third is, they're always in the top. What's their average placements? They were really, really good. I'm gonna have to go, in my opinion, low B. I think I put them on low B. Yeah, I got this team at the bottom of B. Like you said, they have all the pieces to be great. This team makes sense on paper. They've got experience, whatever it is. You know, Rias came back. He took like six months off, so maybe just needs time in. Even though we have World Series calls coming up this week, so hopefully they can figure it out, but I think this team will be fine. I would say B just for the fact of they either a super hot team or just super underperforming. Loom, Splock, Peters. Loom? I don't really know. Sorry. Much about I, I would say question mark. Lock yeah, in. Question mark. It's, lock in. It's, it's, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. It's probably D. Uh, Peters was a, a player that he qualified through the LCQ game, like the, the last, last chance came uh, with... <laughs> Tactical Britain stuff. I'd probably say D. Yeah, they're all but... saying D. Louis Wars Bubble. Um, mm. the EU team chat just formed. I'm be honest, man. I think since this team formed, have they all three played together in one of our scrims? Since they formed, I don't think they have. EU folk, how have they been playing in the EU only scrims lately? They got dead last. Oh, you're right. They got. They placed no like dead last. I did on one of our that. scrims. I, I thought like something happened though. I thought they like internet went out or. I was gonna say didn't they end up winning one though? They, I know Wars won one, but I'm not sure if it was his whole team. Lennon said they've been I doing this good. This is a top EU team. It's like a, it's like a top ten EU team, no doubt. They said B or A in EU. So what does that make them overall? I'd say you won under. Okay? Probably like a high C. Buzzing Lennon. Sage said C. Millsy said C. All right, we're going C. We're going C. Mario Fried and Clown. They did okay in the open calls. I'm gonna be honest, Mario doesn't know how to play customs, and I love that guy. That's my that's my fucking little little goat. I would put them at D, my opinion. D for me. D. I think they're gonna struggle when it gets to customs. Lock steel, hunt, sway. I don't consider them the greatest. I don't consider them dirt last either. I feel like I've seen them at the bottom of the leaderboard pretty consistently. Say D then. I guess D or C. High D or I low C. Right. I would probably put the team behind assault, Levy and Belkin C. I'm done with C. C. All right, let's go see. Believe you text it in in text. It's a hard one because I don't really know where to put them at because they are very good like i'm talking very good at getting to end game but they are so bad at getting kills chat they get to end game feels like almost every single game but they have no kills and at the end of the day kills is what matters right these guys were thriving in the placement point having like half of the whatever the, the other teams were like they had like 120 the the top teams and then they had like 60. <laughs> my stats team said or they don't report their scores <laughs> I feel like C for me. He's good. That's what I was going to say. Now we got Niasin, Nida, and King Cock. These guys, at least from what I've seen, when they play in ours, they got like top 10 multiple times in our customs. Mm. I'm not going to say A tier, B tier, but I would say like C. I would say for me, C. I'm down for C. Yeah, these guys have a lot of potential. I haven't really seen much of them. I would say from what we've seen and, and know of them, I'd say C is definitely fair. All right, Almond, Skullface, and Noobs. I'm going to go ahead. I'll start it off. Y'all going to hate me for it. I don't care. I'll be the bad guy. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe sh if you think right now this team is S tier, Hex gave y'all the craziest fucking pine. They placed like 25th today, something crazy, and they placed 20 something the last couple days. In my opinion, A. I will put them also A tier. Honestly, these past couple days or scrims it just seems like they're burnt out bro i don't know what's going on like maybe they could be burnt out yeah i think this is probably the second best team right now i'd put them at the top of it holiday uh we see how perfect or like they can be whenever they're perfect if not they're like top two worthy potential we got breadman joe and jace man i love these guys with all my heart i would i would take a bullet for any of these three but sadly they just they haven't been performing they're so good so good on paper but something about this team is not clicking right now and we've seen them consistently in the top 20s 10 to 15s I don't think I can put them right now on the likes of like Aiden, Stuo, Levi. My opinion, they're they're kind of like Nate Dog, Destroy. They could have a great day and potentially be in the top 10 or they could have a bad day and, and like it kind of seems like they're kind of in the 20s so i'm gonna have to go c for me man for me it's either low b or c but i think i'm gonna go with c yeah i think c tier for for this team right now it's crazy i think at the beginning of the year when they were playing with skull like this team was supposed to be a team that was gonna compete with you know shifty and compete with soka and them right which is crazy to think because like it just that just tells you how like good bread is as an igl and how good joe is as a role player and stuff and whoever they play with but yeah they've been super disappointing to me in my opinion 
opinion, and I feel like C tier is probably where they're at right now, in my opinion. Uh, definitely C. Obviously, they did like a roster change and still not doing the, the hottest. We've seen like LeBron James, Fredman, or, or Jace, <laughs> but like still, even like if they're popping off like that, they struggle to get to like the top 10. So I would say C. We got, I, I know my, my EU's in here are going to love this. I don't know enough about them, but I will say, again, I, I, I need to clear up all the rumors. What's the deal with this control guy? Did this guy actually VPN last year or is this is that just a, a joke? Or did they actually VPN? Uh, he he did admit to VPNing a few games last year at least. And then he was like, I thought everybody was doing it. Uh, this year, I don't know. Yeah. But it did seem like when they they were they were kind of cooking and then when they got called out for it, they like stopped dropping the bangers that they were. I'll probably like put them on like question mark then. I don't yeah, know, that's what I would put him. On. I think PD is like a former COD pro, but but in them said D. Oh, Echo said oh, D. We're putting him at D. All right, I like this. Colony, Waldo, Nick Cool. Haven't seen enough. I mean, well, I've seen enough, but I haven't seen enough to give them a good rating. I would have to go C. I would go C for this team. I'm gonna put him at D for me. Probably D. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I would say uh, uh, like a high D as well. We saw the last custom. They, I, I think they ended up winning one game, but after that, I didn't see too much movement happening. But I would say D for sure. E700s, Funzy, and Tenux. I swear this this team has been the most inconsistent team ever because I promise you I've seen them and they were literally dirt last for like days. Like to the point where I'm not even trolling and if you guys are watching this, I'm sorry, I feel bad saying this. We were debating on kicking them out of scrims because of how poor they were doing. And then all of a sudden they came out and placed like top seven, top mm. six. Today? And one of the big ones. I forgot which one it was. Oh, they, they placed really good. I mean, from what we've seen out of them, like you said, they've been super inconsistent. And I feel like I'm going to put them in D for now. It's just, uh, it's a weird roster. I, I don't really see them doing well. I agree with Ebates. D. Down for D. Down for D. Savvy Ultras, Freddy, and Xanax. I don't think they've played in any of our tournaments. Definitely not. Maybe one Xanax. Maybe I like Xanax. He comes to chat every once in a while. So, uh, Milzy says C. I don't know enough about them because they haven't played in our customs. I've, I know of them all individually, but we haven't, right. I haven't watched them as a, as a team. You know, just looking at it, probably C, uh, probably ID low C. We'll put them at C. All right, Ooh. we got Rated, Mayapu, and Prospect. Great, great squad. I, they haven't quite gotten the dub yet. Very talented when it comes to just individual skill and slay power. If I'm going to be completely honest, I would go A. I'll probably put them on an A as well. This is a A tier team for me. Besides Soka and them, this, this team has the most potential to get the most kills in a game. Like, I could see them easily dropping like a 30 kill game in World Series. Once I feel like Rated's trying, now that the Mavs are in the, in the finals and he's not watching <laughs> game six during during scrims uh you know he uh he, he'll be a little bit more dialed man so sure i would say without a doubt a solid super solid a a plus bro all right we got race keys lights fire and omega i believe they played really really bad what what, what tournament was that i'll be honest i put them at d right put now them at yeah. d as well everybody I put them as d yep. damn we got revolt i think this is like revolt. one of the bo bottom teams in eu we a d tier team yeah d i would put d here now we got rob star vortex and blade yo okay so here is the deal the couple ones that they played in ours they been done pretty bad or like middle of the pack but then i was watching some of the scrims in eu and they were playing they were like at the top they were playing pretty f good this would honestly be a question mark for me i just don't know from what i know of these guys they are a top eu team i would put them probably at the top of b in my opinion i don't know i've been i feel like for me this team i haven't really seen anything that crazy i'll put them at c for me Ryder, zepti and you know bro see here's the thing with this team bro they're another mutex they're another mutex dog they are the fourth number four chat in average placements they're the top four team in average placements but i'm not trolling they are dead last 18th 18th at getting kills they're so good at getting to end game and average a top 14 placement every single game but then every tournament they average only 45 kills to put that into perspective for you soka and them their average kills is 113 they're at 45 i think oh, d I is do. disrespectful i was gonna say c yeah i think d is sure. disrespectful for sure i think c in my opinion i mean the fact that their placement is that good and in lobbies that they've been playing in shows you that they are a a good team it's just you got to have both and that's the thing i like about the multipliers it's like you got to have the placement and you got to have the kills obviously mm -hmm. this is showing them hey you guys have the placement now we just got to work on the kills and be consistent so i feel like that that tells us that they're probably a c tier team and then we got finesse and missile and t i don't think they've really played that much i think the one tournament that they did play together they placed pretty bad so i'm gonna have to put them at d for me right now uh they haven't had a lot of practices uh practice tournaments but the one that we did see they didn't do too hot i'm gonna put them at d we haven't seen them play so i want to put them question mark but if we're gonna put them anywhere i put them c like if it's like we're just going off of who they are as players i put them in c but if we're just like I, we saw them we play enough, though them question mark. we saw them play and they placed like really bad but i would just say question mark just because like i'm not gonna give them something when i don't 
from I feel like I haven't really seen them enough, you know? Decky, Shucks, and Lipton. Shucks is the handsome mother, right? Oh, this should have been S tier. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know much, though. Me like, neither. I'm, I'm a, I would do question mark. I'm down for a question mark. This is mark. a D tier D -tier team, in my opinion. Claps, Zakar, and Red Rocket. We've seen them, I feel like, a lot. They've been kind of like up and down. I'd go like low C. Um, yeah, I've seen a little bit of Rocket. I've seen Red Rocket a good amount. I've watched them. I've watched them play a bit. I'd say low C, in my opinion. Question mark for me. I haven't really seen them. I would see. See? All right, let's go see. Twitty, Tappa, and Fades, man. They haven't been clicking lately. They got a lot of work on. I'll start it off. I think D. I think D as well. Yeah. I'm done with that. We have a lot to improve on. Falnet, Nico, Swish. Oh. I don't think they played a single custom. Not I one. No. Not a single custom. I haven't seen them play together. Because of that, would you go question mark? I would probably go yeah, question mark. I haven't for me. watched them once. I'll put I'll say question mark. So we got Splash, Darzitsi, and Nova. Question mark for me. Question mark for me as well. I have no idea who that is. Probably D. Probably D. Mm -hmm. Question mark for me. So Honor, Ooh. Evan, Empathy. This is a good one, man. On paper, I feel like I would think this team would be performing way better than they actually are. I feel like they're just not. Otter, Evan, Empathy, they've done okay. I think they made it to match point one, one game. On paper, you would think that Evan, one of the most goaded IGLs in the game out of like ever, would be able to take this team to victory and you know do good. We've got Otter and Empathy, two really good slayers. Me personally, I think I would say like B. They they show that they could be really, really, really good. Actually, whenever they take some team fights, they take up they take a lot like either be Sage, it could be Diaz, and it could be like very top teams, which they come out on top, but I'm not too sure what, what they're struggling with. Like, I think they're better than Destroy, Nate, Dog, and Raul. Yeah. I feel like right now they're better than Bredman, Joe, Jace. I would have to say bottom of B. These guys are in B. Oh, sorry, I would say right now. I would go mid B. Maybe like below Levi. A little bit better than Attract. I was going to literally say the same thing as Krinks. I think they're better than Alb, but not better than the, the Aussies. I think middle of B is perfectly good. We'll go bottom. So we got Swag, Sage, and Adrian. So for this team, I feel like it's the same thing when it comes to inconsistency. There's times where I see these fools get like super good this team in my opinion they're b they've placed top 10 in literally almost every single tournament so i would say b then i, I would put them at b uh, i put them at the top of b i think they're better than dj smith and aiden right now we still ball valvin and transimp i would say question mark i have question mark really sure. all right bond bot cheryl devo d yeah i would say without a doubt yeah d i mean they want a map but other than that i think they've been like dope. they've been placing really bad yeah d, uh d in my opinion sure. d d d, d. I agree. Uh, Gary's coming in Donkey. Easiest A of my life. For sure. Yes. Could potentially be an S tier one day, but easiest A. Sammy, Nobu Spartan, CJ. I, feel like I would maybe say C. C for sure. C, yeah. middle of the pack. Uh, low C for me. I'd say low C. Uh, Definitely C. C, okay. We'll go yeah. C. We got Walker, Bino, and Benzi. I feel like I've heard Benzi before, Bino as well. I don't know enough about them. I'm going to keep it a buck thick, fucking 50. For I'm going to go question mark. Walker, Walker, Beno G, and Benzi, probably a D tier team, but has the potential to be a lot better. They're an EU team. I mean, Walker just started playing customs, I believe. He just turned 18, so I think there's potential on this team, but probably D tier, in my opinion. Uh, Teeny, Obs, and Tommy starting off really slow. I would say B. A lot? No, I don't know. I would really? say C. I would. Oh, I feel like shit. they're starting off a lot slower than I would have thought. Yeah, probably C. It's it's like, I don't know, the weight that Tommy carries, like that name, you know, you'd right. expect to always have him in A tier, but I feel like they just have not played well together yet. Willie Teed, Magoos, and UAB. So I'm going to talk about this team real quick, man. If there was like a most improved award, I think that team would get it. I considered them like D tier back in the day. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to this squad. If you go back and look at their placements, especially over the last week, they've been playing like really f***ing good. Oh, I, I'd put I would put them in C. I would say C for me. C? Yeah. Dude, I feel like they've been playing like B lately. I mean, like yeah. bottom of B. That, mm. Again, you might want to go check. I, maybe I'm just like, that's might, a team that I was like, wait, hold on. Like, I'll be tapping on the paint parts. <laughs> you think I'm okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to go. Okay. That's uh, fine. That's fine. I'll go low B. I got C. Rampage C. Ebay C. I'm going to go C. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll go I don't, C. For I, don't, I don't believe they're better than bread. Now we got Vision, AJ, and Showstopper. The last one. One of the day. Uh, I consider them a top team in EU. Where do they stack up against the rest of them? They did get like the most kills in the EU, right? They did, yes. But at the end of the day, that is pubs and customs. I'll say oh, maybe oh, like he's B. talking about the TKR. Never mind, my bad. I would go B. I think this B. is an A tier team, in my opinion. Kinkles, you are the last deciding factor. I think they're B. And, and then, then Echo, Echo Prodigy. Okay, I think 100 A. 100% A. 100% A. 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 I agree, yeah. A as well. A. Bro, off ping and been consistent like top five. So out of this whole B tier or this B list, okay. who do you guys think is the best B? your team uh, i think vision 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 i don't know i haven't really seen much think that they've been like top 10 like they're good. Said, bro top they're 10 very right good. now chris like they've been 
Mm. Very, very consistent. I would say Chris team. Like I'm saying. Damn, Stuo said they wiped Vision five out of six times today. Ooh. Dang, beef. Damn, I mean, Stuo. Really mean much. Well, Vision period is he's the best. That guy's the greatest. Um, <laughs> and second of all, yeah, no, I think F on top of B, my opinion. I think the first two should stay, my opinion. Yes, I think Stuo's might be better than Eden for me. I think Stuo's probably the second best team in B, in my opinion. I think Swag and them are better, my opinion. I would go Vision, first. Swag, Stuo. Now it's going to get hard because I'm seeing... Yeah, this is hard. I'm, I'm seeing Alba out there. So, like, I, like they've been really good at late game. Same goes for, like, Evan and, and Zeppa. If they're, they're playing like this consistently... That's what I would put. I would, I would leave those three. Oh, those even, maybe even four? I would move Levi up past Aiden. Past yeah, Aiden. I agree. Okay. I would put... Yeah, I can I, see that. Levi, like, didn't they do really bad today? And then they want to see, like, Aiden do... God tier, they were the first. I guess if you want to use like recency bias, but this is technically the first tournament that eight of them have done good. And then Levi and them also had a crazy tournament where they won one, and then they also it wasn't our pulse trick stream, but it was another stream they yeah. won, and then they did got like second or third. I'm just basing it just because like they didn't obviously play very consistent to even get 150 match points, and I don't think Levi was able to obtain it. I don't know. I could, you're talking. You're talking about this. Yeah, this. You're talking one. about today's this tournament. Turn yeah. I mean, if you want to use that, I mean, you could. I guess the biggest thing is like, okay, today is what Sunday yeah. on like I think it was like. Thursday's tournament or like Wednesday's tournament mm -hmm. of last week, Levi and them w were like second or third. Is Aiden just hard. getting better or? Aiden's did... definitely getting better. Yes, no, I'm definitely getting better. better. Aiden will only get better. That team is going to jump up to A. I would put, mm. by the way, I'll, I'll, attract Colors Rias in front of Otter, Evan, Empathy. And I would leave it like that. Limax and Aiden have the same kills. Now, average. what about uh, placement? Uh, Aiden is better than Limax. Wow. Okay. Come on. Yeah, come Rampage, on. Rampage yeah. Cook. So, so Rampage Aiden cooked. has 16.80, Limax has 17.54. Chat, stats don't lie. Go ahead and move Aiden above uh, Levi Zeppa Limax. Come on, Aiden. I've been seeing, bro. Um, I would move Alb over Otter in them, my opinion. Right now, we have to go look at the stats. Now, right now. I what, feel like. What wait, do you think of B? For me, I might flip them. Alb and, and, Ar and Evan. You, <laughs> see, maybe maybe you just, see the stats? I don't know. That's why I want to go to the stats, not to see, like, right, what. Right. Uh, no, Evan actually has better kills. I feel like Alb has placement, but. Alb has, has placement. What's Alb, the difference? Alb. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Alb has 16.99 for placement. Empathy and them have 17.5. Five. Kill, uh, difference, kill difference, chat. Oh my god, that's actually close to three kills. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yo, I think we did yeah, a good job. Yeah, if yeah, the stats yeah, yeah, are this close, I'm saying, I'm um, saying, I don't think it matters where we put them. Now let's get to the the crazy one, chat. What is the worst team on A? See, my opinion, know, Huskers. Know. Yeah, I think the worst team in A is probably Huskers. What the? F uh, uh, comparative to all those? Yeah, but bro, we just literally gassed them from playing so fucking consistent. <laughs> yeah, then, I mean yeah, we're gassing they, them because they, like they aren't supposed to be good, and they are. But now, now we're talking about A tier. You know what I'm saying? Now like, we're we're judging them accordingly to the top teams. My logic is just like Huskers have been playing way better than Amir's team has in a short span. They've been playing consistent. Amir has been like they're they're getting better now, but I, I feel like Huskers over Amir right now for sure. Amir has a 17.14 average placement. Nate Dog has a 17.72. Amir has an average total of 63 kills. I think too. I said top of B was Huskers, is what I said initially. So I think lo lowest of A is good. Amir has just been like weighed, and now they've been getting better. But like Huskers, like they've been playing light out, bro. Like from what I've been seeing, you know, and then okay. like their top placements. I mean, obviously. So like, you're saying because they technically haven't had a bad tournament, Amir should be put at the bottom? I, I guess it makes sense since Huskers is a new team. Okay. And then I'm, I'm just basing it because no, 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 like no, no, no. Amir, you know, You're spitting. This is no, why you're saying. here. You might be right. Honestly. You might be right. Amir, might and that might be the worst. We might need to put oh, Amir yeah, B, Huskers over Amir. B tier. That's all right. Like, Looking I, at the I, stats. I said um, Amir's like a B plus and A tier. Wait, like, bro, bro. Chat, 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 chat. Yo, Swag might need a move. Swag's Average kills is 65.42. Amir's is 63.25. But Swag's average placement is 15th. Amir's is 17th. Well, put them up. We we flip them. So we flip them. I think you move Castillo down based on how they're playing right now. Let's bring down Amir, Castillo, and Dark to B tier. They have to be below Swag, Sage, and Adrian because statistically they play worse. I think now Huskers, Brolic, and Jackal should be there. Wait, now, let me see. Yeah, Echo is really fucking good. Top five, FIFA. This top it's three crazy. is going to be hard. This top three is going to be crazy. So, so let's look at this, chat. I don't think the top two is going to be hard. I think the third is coming Donkey Gary. I think they're the third in B. Let's look at kills, chat. Almond has better average kills by a lot. Seven more average kills per tournament, which is a lot, but then has two less placements than Braxton. So what do we value more? Kills, because it's a kill format. Bro, I, I agree. Think, I agree. I, I think Almond is the second best team. Almond, I'm done with that. So oh, I would say... Best? Alvin, Braxton, Gary. Oh, sorry. Like, they're the second best team, period. Oh, my so bad, my bad, my That's not me. Yeah, I think that that's looks, the that's that top. Solid. Those are the top four I teams right agree. now. Wait. I agree. Let's compare the stats between Braxton and Dongi. Or oh, you already did that. It, you want to see it? Yeah. Braxton has an average kills of, or average placement of 10. 
0.41. Okay. Now, who are you saying? Gary? Yeah, Gary C. Complete fall off. 15.75 average placement. Okay, so that's... So that's, that, that, they, yeah, they, that's they are better. And then kills, even then, Braxton has 80 kills per tournament. Gary has 78 kills per tournament. And top three? Okay. So they're still top better three. than them in both areas. So you know that. That's statistically, w. they are better. Now, now Ankyo cooking. Gramalock Heeds. Ah, dude, it sucks because they've been like up and down and up and down and up and down. And I, I like, I really don't know. They might be the last ones for me, honestly, so far. I feel like you might be like... For me, at least. Everybody for me. says that they're the best and they're the goats and they're the best at EU, but I can agree with you. I haven't me. seen it though. Mm. Who's the fifth team right now in the world? You don't think so? Probably Ju? the French, in my opinion. Juju? Are probably the fifth best team right now. I think they're the best in EU. And I think they're better than rated right now. I think Echo's team is better than them. For sure. Echo's top four. Yeah, I agree. I think Echo's better than rated. <laughs> rated is you know? I think NK was the fifth best team in the world. Just bro, I feel off. like we rated Swag's team too low, bro. Or not way more. They're about the same as FIFA's team right now. Mm -hmm. And statistically, and if anything, Think they're better than FIFA's team. Statistically, chat. Swag's team's average kills per tournament, 65.42. Lennon's average kills per tournament, 63 kills. And now average placement, this is where they do better. Swag average placement is 15. Wow, this is insane. 15.66. Lennon, 15.64. So Lennon is on 15.64 by 0.2. Swag and them get more kills than them. An average of two more kills per tournament. Yeah. So Lennon was saying that we'll say if it's like a remember. close gap, it's probably because of ping. I don't think ping is like ping's not gonna take you from a C tier team to like an A tier team. Right. But I feel like those little fluctuations, like you know, like within like the same tier, could definitely be because of ping. How does this how does this A look mm. to you? I don't know. I like I, I, need I like where to move. A is at right now. I think this is good for me. The only thing I'm thinking is would you move swag to the bottom of A? You could for sure make an argument for that. Based off statistics, chat, in our custom scrims. They play the exact same as FIFA Jukies and Lennon. Statistically, yes, FIFA Jukies and Lennon are off ping. And your grandma like Keats, we're not judging them based off ping, right? We got to keep it kind of fair, right? Two more kills average per tournament. Yeah, we could put both of them like the bottom of A. Would you move FIFA down? I would probably no, move No, Chris FIFA goes up. Oh, would you move Chris up? Because they've been doing really good, right? The the stats? Oh, oh that's, that's so hard. Actually, that's damn. so hard. I would, I would move them out. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so FIFA down? Yeah, we don't, guys, we don't have stats on Vision. He hasn't played enough tournaments of ours to have stats on him. By the like, way, this is so sick. Probably, probably swag on high B or low A and then have FIFA's team below them. I would say, I would say FIFA. Right, FIFA, FIFA. I would say FIFA. Love you, Vision in a bad. I honestly think that FIFA is a better team. So here's the deal. Do we move FIFA down or do we move swag up? I think we move swag to low A or up, sorry. And then FIFA to top B. Oh, oh shit. Interesting. Oh shit. I was just I was just gonna say move swag to the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say up, because rapid you up or the down. The truth is the reality is on Tuesday or whatever Wednesday, we're gonna see FIFA and them just run through EU, not run through EU, but they're going to be at the top of EU and they're going to fry and they're going to have a great tourney, you know, qualifier process. Right. And we're not going to really have much to base it off of. So what I know of them, I know they're going to run through EU. And I feel like that, in my opinion, they're an A tier team. If I didn't have these stats, I would say swag is at B. I knew yeah. they were playing good. I didn't think they were playing this good if I'm going to be honest. I would, say, I would say low A with FIFA. And, so and, I would say and, uh... swag. So I'm going to go swag, FIFA, Huskers. Echo, Rated, Enkyo, Gary, Braxton Almond. I don't think there's I don't think there's people are saying there's too many in A tier. I don't think there's too many in A tier. There's what? That, that rounds out our top ten. If you're a top ten team, you should be in A tier, in my opinion. Yo, I, I need a I need uh Enkyo and Echo's like stats, bro. I know chat, they, they haven't played enough. Oh, just cause like you said, like I wish they played guys, I wish they played in all of ours. On paper, like you tell me Enkyo, I'll be like Enkyo. But I, I feel like, dude, Echo has been filling it in the in the in the, the screams for off pink. That's just so. What would I, you do? Where would you put him? I'd say like flip Enkyo and Echo, but that's just because like uh, and from who? what I see, Echo and, and Enkyo? Enkyo. Yeah, but like I need. That's why like we don't got the stats. Yeah. I think Enkyo is the best team in EU. What I've yeah, seen. See, I feel like everybody say. says uh, that. We say that all the time. I, uh, we everybody said that says it. About yes. Vision. We said that about like. I think Enkyo other. is the best player in EU right now too. I oh, think that's he's the number one player in EU kind of see where you're coming from because echo majority of the times he plays our scrims compared to like Ankyo. this guy's doing like 14 hour streams to play in na and he's getting top three bro like from that one time i don't know i know we don't got that much stats on Ankyo, so that's why I'm, I'm putting echo like he's been so fucking consistent Ankyo, he had that one game like he even said it himself he had they had a super hard start but they had a shady ending i i gotta be faded bro i got it like i don't know at least let's move raid in and echo is that okay with you because you do you think enkyo and echo are both better than rated steam now rampage you're saying you think echo should be above enkyo me personally yes okay just from what i've seen and like i told you like i feel they've been playing super consistent i think this might be the one how it is right here echo i mean echo said in chat too he's the enkyo's team's a little bit better than them right now okay i respect that yeah <laughs> 
chat, I feel like we did pretty good. I know uh, you guys are not going to agree with everything, <laughs> but I like to think, chat, that out of anybody in the world, we watch the most Warzone customs. Sure. That, I think this is a, a good tier list. I, I, I do have a feeling that the we'll see a lot of movement in like the D tier. Like like some teams I'll, I'll pick to like that I think are going to do. I think Colony and Watch Waddle and them will be good. I think Gabe and them will be good. Somebody said only one S tier team is glazing chat <laughs> if you think anybody is on their level you're faded bro bro you could hey. ask 100 100 competitors right now and all 100 would say that they are the only team in us <laughs> nah, except I think for the only soka team soka would be like soka would be like nah man we got more to work on <laughs> that concludes the tier list guys we will be doing another one of these um near when when world series of warzone approaches but remember world series of warzone group stages start on tuesday let's lock in and let's have a good time man uh boys as always rampage ebates crinks appreciate y'all for for being on the tier list today it was yes, really sir. fun and chat we'll catch you guys in the next one, maybe peace peace peace, peace, peace. peace.